Welcome once again to our message from our Divine Compassionate Guides. My name is Julianne Duffy and my purpose is to live, speak, and seek the truth in all forms to help reconnect humanity to its highest form of authenticity. Today, I specifically asked, what is the economic outlook for the next three months for Canada? And I am using the Quantum Oracle cards by Sandra and Taylor. And my intention with these messages is that they will help heal and serve those that come across them. So I pulled the four card spreads. We're going to look at what we're seeing. So what we're seeing, what we're not seeing, our possible outcome, and the actions that we are being called to take. So let's start with what we are seeing currently. The Sacred Temple. This is a beautiful card. Essentially, the meaning of this is that we already know what we're seeing. We're seeing it deeply. We're in tune with it. It's in the Akashic Records. So if you followed any of the Akashic Records, that is already written that we know. We know the end result of it. So this is where we're able to find and connect with unlimited information, which is also the financial information. And the answers we seek that we're seeking are available through our records. And this is a spirit, a powerful spiritual source. And, you know, our life is opening up with many possibilities. And this card is telling you are ready to take the time to enter the tape, the temple and take that time to really clearly see what you, what you are seeing. So what you're seeing, you know what you're seeing. That that's how I take this is you are already aware of what you are seeing. The cards are saying, if you're seeing, it's not so great. That is the truth. And that's, you already know, right? Like sometimes the cards are pretty plain with that. You already know what you're seeing. Now we're going to say, now we're going to look at what we're not seeing. So what are we not seeing with their economy? Great gratitude. We are definitely not seeing gratitude. I don't think there's a lot of us super grateful for the things and the policies that are coming into play, especially here in Canada with our tax on a tax called the carbon tax. So we're not really seeing a lot of great gratitude. So I feel like that that is actually quite appropriate. And it's our choice to acknowledge the many sources of value that life acts as a beacon in the universe and find the things that we can appreciate. So right now we, we are not necessarily seeing a lot of gratitude. However, this might be for us to find the reward and genuine, genuine appreciation that we are even acknowledging and seeing what the problem is. Right. And yeah, we're not really grateful with what's going on here. Um, it's not putting us in that higher realm of energy at all. Not what's going on, not in the economy. We're not, we're not grateful in this economy. It's, uh, you know, even if you are getting a carbon rebate, um, it's not covering what you're paying. It's not. And when you start being reliant on the government assistance to survive, you know there's a problem. We can see this. You already know that internally, right? And yeah, we're not seeing a lot of uh, gratitude with that. Now, what is our possible outcome with the situation that we have over these next three months? So what is the possible outcome? Behind the mask. I, I'm saying this is our intention. What, what has been hidden, you know, what they're hiding behind is going to come to light. Like that, that's essentially it. The intention, what's been hidden behind the mask is going to be, is going to be seen. Whatever, you know, all the, in my mind, it's corruption at its peak. When we have taxes that are so high that we have, we actually, if you are living in Canada, you have some of the highest taxes in all of the world. On average, there is, on average, you've got 50% income tax. So after you take, whatever you're taking home, you get 50% of what you make. And then that does not include all of the taxes you pay between the GST, HST, or a PST, because those provincial sales tax, all those taxes, and then the other taxes that they charge you on top for, you know, fees like registration tax, that's a tax. All of these things are taxes. And so what's also interesting is the carbon tax. And I feel like that's really what this is going to come is behind the mask is that there's no value to it. It is 
If their way of stopping the carbon and saving the world is putting the whole population into poverty so you cannot afford to buy food or heat your home to reduce carbon, then that is the way it's going to end up. And that's going to be what we're going to clearly see behind that mask. And so this one is really saying it's absolutely possible to attract our real desires and to be this to be the real you so we really need to see what is real in this reality and that and that i feel is going to come out so no matter how deep this pattern is um we, we need to see the external truth that and so let the mask go that's it's time for the mask to go and the light will be shone on the truth and i feel like that is really the the possible outcome is that we're going to truly see what this corruption, government, and taxing. Like if you put all those taxes together, as I mentioned, we're probably taxed easily at 70 to 80% of your income. So you're living off of 20%. So if you think about that, every dollar that you make, you, you literally have the buying power of 20 cents on every dollar that you take home in Canada. And then of course, the actions. This is what we are being called to do. Because of course, you know, this is all stuff that is outside of us, you know, like we do know this is not outside of us. This is us again. We know what's going on and we're not grateful. We're not. And the mask is going to drop. The truth is going to be shown. And this is how we need to handle this. This is our advice on what we're being called to do here. And our, <laughs> well, peace upside down. So that's a, you know, not necessarily being very peaceful. That's, the call, the call is, is that it's, we are struggling and this brings an approach to ourself and our life that it's out of balance. This is truly showing us that we need to find balance in our own life. And that might be standing up against what is going on. It, it's encouraging us to take the fragmented energy and the difficulties that might seem overwhelming and bring it back into balancing. So prioritizing ourselves and our inner peace is going to be very important with what we need to do going forward. So it may, you know, some of this inner peace might be, you know, just finding a way that we can let go of the inner conflict, the worry, you know, whatever's happening. We don't have to be fran frantic about it. And to let go of the fear and reclaim our trust as we start to get back into our balance. But that's also, you know, we're trusting that the guides are going to assist us through that. And, you know, we we have to take a lot, uh, take some initiative in bringing this balance. It's not going to happen to us. We have to be part of it and action it as well. And whatever that means for you, however that means you might be pushing back, you might be coming to terms, maybe choosing to live differently, choosing to move somewhere else. This could be multiple ways that you can find your peace through we, through this time because we know what's happening. We're not grateful for it. And the truth is going to be exposed. Like that is clearly the mask is going to be lifted. The truth is going to be exposed that we're being robbed. We are clearly being robbed and the money is being stolen from us and given to bad actors, bad entities, entities that do not and are not for the good of Canadians, right? And we have to come back to a balance and it's not going to be peaceful. It's going to be a challenge. It is going to be a challenge for us to find our way through this. Um, and we have to take responsibility that we've allowed this to happen to our country by, you know, letting these people, you know, do these, you know, COVID was a time that we allowed the government to control us fully. We had some of the most restrictive um, rules in the entire world. There was a memo from Transport Canada that stated our restrictions were excessive, excessive. There's nowhere else in the world that we had excessive. So they bamboozled us. This mask is going to drop and all that truth is going to come out. This is about the economy, but it all overlaps that we're going to have to deal with the outcome of these choices by not standing up right to begin with. That That's the karma that has to be played out is that Canadians are going to be finding their way through this and it's going to be positive in the end once we get back into balance but something's going to have to give 
And that's unfortunately where we're seeing ourselves in the next three months, positive and negative, right? But we do know what it is and we're really, we're not grateful of it. And I'm, I'm not grateful for what I'm seeing. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. And, uh, I can't wait for the mask to drop and the truth to literally come flowing out because we can see the truth. We can see it. It's still, you know, we got mainstream media and all of them kind of hiding behind this mask gaslighting us you know i had the the ironic thing i was watching a clip on uh, ctv about well we'll know if the carbon tax worked if the carbon goes down and you know by election for next 2025 and the only way the carbon's going to go down is when you can't afford to do anything you can't afford to heat your home you can't afford to buy food you can't afford to travel then yes the carbon will stop will go down i guess as we freeze to death and people die from these and literally live in poverty. That is the, that is their plan. And that's the mask is this plan that poverty is their solution to the carbon. And I feel like that's going to really be exposed. And then we're going to have to find that balance that we are much more in poverty and impoverished than people want to believe. They don't want to believe. We want to believe we're in this beautiful, powerful country. It's not, it's not powerful. It's a beautiful country but it's not powerful anymore and it's not strong and it's not wealthy and it's been purposeful and that's going to be part of that mask. And you can tell I'm definitely a little more engaged with Canada since that is where I'm from. So I do intend that this will help you today and give you some insights of where we are going. You know where the economy is. You know, you already know the truth of it. You can feel it in your guts that those records are there. You are not grateful we are not grateful as Canadians of what is going on. The mask is going to be lifted. The mask is going to drop and the intentions behind what has been happening is going to be clearly seen. And we're going to be upside down as we try to find our peace through this. So take this message, allow yourself to be absorbed and meditate or take that moment to really decide how you are going to handle these next three months. Until next time, Please do subscribe to stay up to date with the messages. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.